Welcome to Electron Online. What we're going to do here is have a nice, uh, uh, work out a very nice example problem for the law of cosine. So let's say we have an airplane that's flying at 100 miles per hour in a direction 30 degrees east of north, but there is a wind blowing at an angle of 30 degrees north of east at 20 miles per hour. So eventually, where will this plane end up if the plane keeps flying and the wind keeps blowing at the same speed and same direction for two and a half hours? So what we end up with is we then connect this triangle. Here's the starting point. Here's the ending point. And connect the dots like that. So what we want to know is how far. And if we call this side A and call this side B, and then we call this side C, then we're trying to find out what side C is equal to. It's always a good idea to label the sides A, B, and C. So here's our triangle. Now, what, are, what is the angle? Well, we want to know this angle right here. So let's find out this angle here. That would be angle B. Once we find out what angle B is, we add it to this angle, 30 degrees, to find the bearing. So that's ultimately what we're trying to do. Um, let's see here. Do we know the other angles? Uh, well, yes, we, we kind of do, because this is a 30 degrees. So that would be 30 plus 90 plus 30. So 60 plus 90, so this is a 150 degree angle. And that would be angle C. Okay, so in order to be able to solve this using the law of cosine, and we want to find a, a side C, it is necessary to know the angle opposite to that side. Because what we're going to do is take this equation and write in the format to solve for C, which means c squared equals a squared plus b squared minus 2ab times the cosine of c. Do we know a and b? Yes, a is 100, b is 20, so we can find c because we know the angle directly across from c. So let's plug in the numbers and see what we get. So c squared is equal to a squared, that would be 100 squared plus b squared, 20 squared minus 2 times a b times the cosine of 150 degrees. And of course, if we want to take c by itself, we need to take the square root of all that. All right, let's go ahead and do that. So we have 10,000 plus 400 equals minus the quantity 2 times 100 times 20 times 150. Take the cosine of that close parentheses equals, and then take the square root. And we end up with 117.75, okay? So C is equal to 117.75, and that would then be, of course, miles per hour. So if we fly for one hour, the speed would be 117.7 miles per hour. After one hour, the distance would be that many miles, and after two and a half hours, so distance, or how far, so the distance would be equal to 2.5 hours multiplied times 117.75 miles per hour. Right, so this would be the speed of the plane and the wind combined, multiplied times 2.5 hours, and we get 294.4 miles, 294.4 miles. So that's how far the plane would be after two and a half hours of flying. The direction. For that, we need to know angle B. Now we probably want to go to the law of sines because we know angle C, we know side C, we know side B. We don't know angle B, so in this case, the law of sines would probably work. So we can say that um, the sine of B divided by side B equals the sine of C divided by side C. And then we can say that sine of B is equal to, uh, when I bring the B across, B times the sine of C divided by C. And what is that equal to? Well, B is equal to 20. C uh, was 150 degrees, so that would be the sine of 150 degrees divided by C, which we said was 117.75. Okay, what is that equal to? So divide this by 2.5, that's in the denominator, so take the inverse of that, 1 over x, okay, times 20 times 
150, take the sine of that, equals, and we get 0 0.08493. Okay, now we take the inverse sine of that, so B equals the inverse sine of that number, which is 0 0.08493. So take the inverse sine of that, sine, and we get 4.87 degrees. 4.87 degrees. So that's angle B. Now, for heading, if we add that to the 30 degrees, we could then say that the heading is 30 degrees plus B east of north. So therefore, the heading is equal to 30 degrees plus 4.87 degrees east of north. Or if you combine them, it would be 34.87 degrees east of north north and that's how we do that so again here we have a triangle that does not have any right angles so in this case since only uh, one angle and two sides were given we can then use the law of cosine to find the opposite side in the case if we were given three sides we could always find one of the angles but in this case it was just perfect we had two sides and an angle we can use the law of cosine to find the other side and then we use a law of sine to find this angle to find the heading of the plane blown to the side by the wind. And that's how we do that.